This is the kind of guy that can turn this franchise around. He's the number one player in high school, number one player in college, number one player in the draft. He's been in the spotlight his entire life. You mean the 33-year-old who hasn't played a down of NFL football in almost a decade is suddenly going to try a new position? What are you thinking, Urban? Florida going from a three-point favorite to a one-point underdog after all this news broke this afternoon. But of course, that is familiar territory for Kyle Trask. Now, I'm not much of a golfer, so if I'm struggling, I'll actually break out my sandwich here. Help get me right. So Bryson literally hitting the ball to another course. This is where he lands off the tee. I got a front row seat for this thing. Take a look. Any weird questions from the NFL teams? Give, give two reasons um, why you cook raw meat. <laughs> what do they want you to say? I'm a real man. I eat it raw. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here's the sideline. Here's the sideline. We're good. We're good. Leaping catch. Oh, we're good. It's in. A little bit. A little bit. All right. Oh, no. Beckham. Oh, oh, we got it. And here's the diving catch. Oh, for the win. The bearded bridesmaid, as I like to call him, on the move again. His closet starting to look like Katherine Heigl's from 27 Dresses. He's about to wear his ninth NFL jersey. And yes, that was a Katherine Heigl reference. Grey's Anatomy, shout out. Now, I know you got NBA goals, but the last time we talked, we talked about your acting passion. So when are we going to see Shondi Brown coming to a theater near you? You know, Mike, a guy like me or you might try to temper expectations out there, but not Gus Malzahn. The next big thing could be out here right now. I know one thing. It's not me. So winning Daytona is the night of your life. Finishing second is as well. Jordan Anderson was absolutely ecstatic after this race. Hawks making this a playoff or bust season. They tried to build a team around Trey Young. Well, you know he can do this. Infinite range. It's 108-105. Orlando had a 16-point halftime lead. Set a season high 39 points in the first quarter, but no one could stop the run. Tony Snell. On the paintball battleground, this is the general. If you can get up to that, I can right there in the middle. He's got the strategy. Hey guys, let's get ready on the whistle. And when the whistle blows, three, two. Watch out. He's got the shot. He's quick and he's got the gun to do it. He can shoot and he shoots accurately. He does not miss. That guy, he's, he's one in a million for sure. Gotta keep that guy pinned down. Mark Let's accuse is his name. I'm hit. But here, everyone just calls him. Oh, this is Pops. Had a good game. Hope you enjoyed it. Pops. I found out I was old when a few years ago the referees were picking up teams and they pointed at me and said, Pops, you're on this team. That made me, I'd never been called Pops before. When you play with Pops, you better get some cover. Because if you reveal yourself, you're gonna get shot. Ah! I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit! There's two kind of players in paintball. The quick and the dead. If you aren't quick, you're dead. What started as a retirement activity with his son 10 years ago. Here we go. Has become a passion at 78. I kind of found my niche that I, the Lord had given me a little talent to do this type of uh, game. So I just keep on doing it. Time to play ball. Now I'm a superhero. I definitely want to be here in the 80s, age 80s. I am really looking forward to it because at the moment I can't see any reason that's going to change. Okay, guys, get ready. Of course, even superheroes have to take breaks. Am I out? I got some paint up here. You do? I see it, yeah. I'm out then. Yeah, I'm going to go get a drink. I might eat my favorite sandwich also. Peanut butter and sweet pickle. 
peanut butter, pickle, and paintball. That's the secret to yeah. staying young. All right, time for the walk-off. This World Series has been absolutely fantastic. Of course, there's still one big complaint. Strikeouts and home runs. That's all baseball is nowadays. The pitchers throw harder than ever, and all the hitters have all mastered the launch angle in their swing. So to me, the fix is obvious, and I don't really understand why it hasn't already been done. Ban the shift. Now, I'm obviously not the first person to say this, but I'm going to say it loud, and I'm going to say it again. Ban the shift. I mean, look at these formations. It's ridiculous. You got the shortstop over here. You got the second baseman all the way in right field. It's insane. The league batting average this season was 245. That's the lowest since 1972. Back in 73, the AL implemented the designated hitter. I say, time for a change again. And here's all the changes they made this year. Universal DH, expanded playoffs, three batter minimums for pitchers, seven inning double headers. Of course, that was for the pandemic and starting extra innings with a runner on second base. So let's fix the obvious thing here. Shortstops shouldn't be standing in the concession stand line because the hitter has a dramatic slice. Look, the shift takes away batter's natural gifts. If the field's completely covered, he might as well swing for the fence, right? Defenses, they should shift like we used to back in Little League. Back up, move in, shade right, shade left. Allow the athletes to make the plays, not the computer. I mean, you can't suddenly decide to drive on the wrong side of the road because it's more efficient during rush hour, right? Second baseman, well, they should stay out of right field too. Math has taken over the game. I say, let's change the equation. That's the walk-off. This was Spectrum Sports 360. We'll see you next time. Have a great night.